Hello friends, welcome to my show. Today, I'll talk about a controversial topic. In prevention and treatment of dengue fever, does homeopathy play effective role? Seriously? Here, I'll share all what I got while researching on the topic. I'll show all the authentic resources like prominent journals and government websites of different countries, etc. So stay with me and go dance to the topic. Let's start. About 1800 years ago, in a Chinese encyclopedia, probable dengue fever was referred to a water poison associated with a flying insect. The first confirmed case record dates from 1789 by Benjamin Rush, who coined the term breakbone fever. According to an article of World Health Organization, serious dengue attacked first at Philippines and Thailand after 1950s. According to National Center for Biotechnology Information, NCBI, in 2011, about 1 million people were affected by dengue fever where 758 people were died in the USA. From 2011 to 18, about 900 people died there on an average every year. Not only America. In many countries of Asia and Africa, dengue revealed as an epidemic every year. Has any effective attempt been taken to prevent this epidemic? In an article of NCBI, it is mentioned that there is no effective treatment, even therapy, for dengue in allopathy. Infected person is observed with intense care and treated with the symptoms he shows. Fluid intake and blood infusion are performed if necessary. Recently, the US after Food and Drug Administration, administration has approved a vaccine named Dengfaxia, but in their instruction, they told that it is not applicable who has not been infected by dengue once in their life. In this case, this vaccine may act like the first time attacking dengue virus. Besides, for the dengue-infected people, the vaccine is successful in 76% cases. Sinophy representatives say continued tests over the years show those who got the vaccine without having been infected still face the risk of getting severe dengue. In this situation, when the whole world is searching for an effective preventive action for dengue epidemic, homeopathy has brought a revolutionary way. Here, I will show some references and evidences from different countries around the world, such as America, Canada, Pakistan, India, etc., for those who do not believe the effectiveness of homeopathy in this case. In homeopathy, the most effective and successful medicine for dengue prevention and treatment found is Eupetorium parfoliatum. This medicine is made from the extract from Eupetorium parfoliatum or bonsai tree. It was first introduced by Native American who used this medicine for treating fever and cold for years. They also used the extract of the tree as an immunostimulating agent. That is, Eupetorium parf has an immunostimulating characteristic. Afterwards, homeopaths used this trick to make homeopathic medicine for various fevers. Many homeopaths published many books sharing their experiences while practicing homeopathy. The book Materia Medica is a collection of all homeopathic medicines and their effectiveness written by various writers. American homeopath James Taylor in his book Homeopathic Materia Medica wrote about the effects of Eupetorium Parf in 1905. There, he said that in warm countries, Eupetorium parf is very effective for fever, yellow fever, bilious fever, breakbone fever, that is dengue, and intermittent fever. Noticeably, in that era, dengue was called as breakbone fever. Before 1950s, no death record for dengue was found because first hemorrhagic dengue was noticed at that decade. Even for this hemorrhagic dengue, Eupetorium puff worked best. In 2001, Brazil faced dengue epidemic with high fatality rate. 
In that year, a single dose of homeopathic remedy Eupatorium Perf was given to 40% of residents of the most highly affected neighborhood. Thereafter, dengue incidence decreased by 81.5%, a highly significant decrease as compared with neighborhoods that did not receive homeopathic prophylaxis. Again, in early 2007, facing the challenge of controlling an outbreak of dengue, the Secretary of Health of the County of Mackay, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, carried out a homeopathic campaign against dengue. 1,56,000 doses of homeopathic remedy were freely distributed in April and May 2007 to asymptomatic patients according to the notion of epidemic genus. The incidence of the disease in the first three months of 2008 fell by 93% in comparison to the corresponding period in 2007, whereas in the rest of the state of Rio de Janeiro, there was an increase of 128%. In 16 to 18 June 2019, fourth homeopathic research conference was held in London, where they presented the effectiveness of homeomedicine and corresponding success treating dengue and they reported that they have achieved 100% success to treat dengue in India by applying eupatorium perf in 2015. Indian health protocol Practo.com, which is not an homeopathic site, published an article about efficient action of some homeomedicine like eupatorium perf, rastox, arsenic elb, phosphorus, etc. for treating dengue fever. Besides, in India, they arranged dengue prevention campaign in many places where they freely distributed eupatorium perf to the generality. Some pharmacists from the universities of Pakistan such as University College of Pharmacy, University of the Punjab, the University of Lahore conducted a research where they found that if eupatorium perf associated with other homeopathic medicines are given to a dengue infected patient, the platelets of his or her body starts to increase within 24 hours. National Center for Homeopathy, NCH, US, founded on 1974, published an article where they recommended eupatorium perf as potential remedy and treatment of dengue fever. Canadian writer and homeopath Kate Birch published her book named Vaccine-Free Prevention and Treatment of Infectious Contagious Disease with Homeopathy in 2007. There, she suggested eupatorium perf as remedy of dengue. She added other medicines, rastox, bryonia, arsenic, elb, etc. for the treatment. In 2012, U.S. homeopath Rose Mahofsky jot down effects of all homeopathic medicine approved by U.S. Food and Drug Administration and published a book named Homeopathy, a Gift. In this book, she noted that eupatorium perf is an awesome medicine for dengue fever. According to all homeopaths, unlike allopathic drugs, homeopathic medicine does not have any side effects, so they can be used as remedy. So, the fear of developing reactions for taking homeomedicine is absurd. But, in some specific cases, homeopathic medicines cannot work properly, like if the patient is a smoker, drug addicted, having diabetes and takes insulin, etc. So, if anyone is infected by dengue virus even after taking eupatorium perf medicine, he or she can be treated by other homeopathic medicines also. So guys, what do you people think about the role of homeopathy in dengue prevention? Answer in the comment section and to know dance about various topics, subscribe the channel and share this video to spread the truth. Thank you.